Folks, how's she going today? Once again, I'm never from that's tack bits. Otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. Oh man, check that sweet thing out. She's a beaut, mate. Okay, so we got an RTX 5000 in with an i9. Let's see what kind of video game power we can pull off with this fun stuff, shall we? As you can see, we've opened up Minergate, and I'm getting a relatively decent hash rate just off this card. It's, you can see where it says a buck thirty a day. When I uh, turned the CPU on, I was making an extra three cents a day, which is pretty crazy because with an older Xeon, I can make ten cents a day. So I want to see how long it takes me to make about a buck fifty with this thing. Uh, apparently, it's supposed to take about a day and a half. But I wanted to test it. I wanted to test the heat. And I'll tell you, this thing got so hot, it was hot to the touch. And I put this fan on here. Now that we can get on uh, r slash r slash tech support MacGyver. We're pulling down uh, 36, almost 37 mega hashes. And yeah, I should be making a buck 33 a day. Now what I really don't like about this is it's taking up 100% of the load. Even though I'm keeping the temperature real low and even though the fan speed is real low, I don't want to kill the life of this unit. And if I could get this thing running at like 50%, even 99%, 98%, because you find the higher you go, the last little bit takes the most juice and the most out of a system. Yes, there are options to change these things, but those options just don't freaking seem to be working right now. So I don't know. Alright, first off, let's play some Fortnite. I'm happy to see that the computer I'm using this with has internal speakers. Okay, we're in the waiting room. Everything's looking real good. Definitely not getting any lag at all. So yeah, the waiting room is 60 frames per second. Of course, we're in the bus at 60 frames per second. Of course, I'm expecting uh, perfection from this. Nothing less than perfection. Anyways, we're coming down 60 frames per second. This thing hasn't hit a glitch. It hasn't hit a wall. It hasn't hit anything yet. Playing beautifully. You'll notice as soon as we get out of the bus, we got the roads. Now, you all know how much I love to grief people on the way down, but I might have deployed a little bit early or late. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get you. Yeah, bring it. Bring it, son. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, let's try that again. Try it again. I really don't like that parachute. Don't run. Don't run. Oh, I can do it too, see? I'm going to get you. One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. Oh, you think that shotgun's gonna save you? Not today, Galvatron. So this system's definitely so powerful that when I play this game, it really feels like uh, this is way over the maximum, of course, than what, over, than what Fortnite requires. Come get some, boy, yeah! Everything just loads up perfectly and beautifully. There's never any instances where you walk up to something and it's almost artifacting until the memory can catch up with it. Gotcha. Oh, there's two of is there. I'll get extra flavor, extra fun. Oh, or not, whatever. So yeah, not so bad. Next up, we got some Grand Theft Auto 5, and something I'm a little uh, surprised to see is I'm getting a fraction of input lag here, and I'm not sure why. Man, the gameplay just looks and feels immaculate. So smooth, round edges on everything. Well, I guess I got a little bit of somewhat jaggedness right about there. Feels like she's playing at about 60 frames per second. I'm not getting any input lag. I'm not getting any lag of any sort. Like on some systems you run into issues when you get into me metropolitan areas and uh, more things need to spawn in. You get little jigger, jittery lags, but I am definitely not seeing that on this. And I better not because this is a freaking expensive card. Once again, a Quadro card. Quadro is made for CAD. I'm using it for gaming. But now that it is so hard to find certain graphics cards, sometimes you just take whatever you can get and uh geez this thing's beautiful this thing is beautiful we next up let's try us some cyberpunk 2077 oh yeah that's looking a lot better than any other video card i've seen that's smooth okay that is smooth i have not had this game play this smoothly it's beautiful beautiful 
Next up, of course, let's try out pass mark benchmark. Oh man, okay, DirectX 9, we're going at uh, almost 300 frames per second here. DirectX 10 going at about 300 frames per second, 333, even when we're super close. That's freaking amazing. <laughs> that is just freaking amazing. DirectX 11 with the space jellyfish rocking out at about, geez, up to 115 frames per second. Man, I'm not having any problem with the tilt there. The globe, there wasn't any uh, frame fr fracturing at all. And last but not least, we have DirectX 12 rocking at about 100 frames per second. Smooth, really smooth, looking really good. But geez, for the money you'd pay for a card like this, it dang well better be. What was this, a four or $5,000 video card? Unbelievable, unbelievable. We got a base score of 7,770. That's the best that I've got. Here we can see the 3D graphics. I got 1,000 and on the 3D I have 1,000, no sorry, 17,000 uh, and 180. So this thing's freaking powerful. This thing's stacked. If you definitely got some CAD, you definitely need to be doing this. You are going to be paying an awful lot of money for it because we're in the situation we're in with the supply chain. And it's just hard to get anything. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Not from Nestac, but it's like and subscribe if you like stuff. It's always appreciated. And folks, as always, take care of each other, will you?